Welcome to ICA. We're so glad you could join us tonight as we celebrate together the birth of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. 100% God, 100% man, come to earth on our behalf. If you would find your seats, we're going to begin singing together and reflecting upon this uh, great event together. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul. I'm one of the pastors at ICA. We want you to feel welcome. We're glad you could join us as we celebrate, as we worship together. Let's pray together at this time. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the great opportunity to put you forward in our lives and to recognize you as our Lord and Savior as we celebrate today Jesus coming to earth. So Lord God, may this be pleasing to you as we reflect upon it together. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
it. So we would like for you to join us now. Please stand.
ask you to uh, go ahead and be seated. In 1818, a choir, actually it was an acting group, arrived at Obendorf, St. Nicholas Church, to uh, perform. Uh, it was actually de December 23rd, and what happened is the church organ was broken, and so they couldn't perform at the church, and so they found a home to, to play in. And during that time, uh, the young pastor, uh, Joseph Moore, uh, listen to and uh, watch the play as they acted out what uh, Artum had just uh, read to us, the story of the birth of Jesus. And after they had done their play, he was in a reflective mood. He decided to take the long way home. And the long way home took, up, took him up to the top of the hill where he could look over the city or the village of Obendorf and then the hills in the background. And he was reminded, as he thought about the story, he was reminded of a poem that he had written, which was about the angel's announcement of the birth of Christ. And so he, he wrote it out, he put music to it. Well, he didn't put music to it, he brought it to his church organist the following day. The church organist said, well, we can't play it at church for Christmas Eve. We don't have an organ, but let's see what I can do. So he wrote something up, he put something together, and it was to the guitar. And uh, they sang it, they sang it for the first time that evening, Christmas Eve, 1818 in Obendorf, Austria, or Germany at the time, I'm not sure. It was just a few years later, actually, uh, what happened was that the organ was repaired, and the guy who repaired the organ famous composer he set it to more difficult music 1834 uh, there, by that time a few German groups had picked up the song and they, they sang it before the king of Prussia the king of Prussia at that time declared that every year that song would be sung for Christmas and from that point on it had been the song then emigrated to the states where it was sung in German uh, for many years until about 1860 uh, where an Englishman and or it could have been an American woman they're not sure set the words to English and, and nowadays today Silent Night is sung in over 200 languages across the world it's just an eternal tune it's just a beautiful tune about the, the, the peace that comes knowing Jesus and the power that came in the angel's message. So we're gonna sing Silent Night together. <laughs> 